once a very dry area, two sub-counties of Ntoroko district are turning into a lake. The land on which people used to freely walk or drive can now only be traversed by a canoe. Many homes in the area have been submerged, and over 10,000 people have been displaced in Kanara and Beramule sub-counties. Musechweru, the State Minister for Disaster Preparedness, has visited the area to assess the situation. As, as, as we are where we are standing here, it is the sub-county headquarters and the health, the health center. But that is the only space which is remaining here. So the situation in Toroko, in Kanara, both the sub-county headquarters and the town council can be described as pathetic. Can be described, you cannot access here by boat. And almost all the parishes in the sub-county are submerged. And, and so, not only are humans suffering here, even the cows are in water and, and, and their feet are rotting. So that also needs to pack a response by the Minister of Agriculture and, and, and Veterinary, particularly those who are in, in charge of animal husbandry. The threat of COVID-19 infection is the cause of concern because of the congestion and the failure to observe COVID-19 prevention guidelines. The SOPs of the Minister of Health are difficult to implement. Because people are in a camp setting, so many sharing one room, so just one person can contaminate the entire place. That is very dangerous. So the poor sanitation in this area also leaves many at risk of catching waterborne diseases. When I was coming, I have seen the pit latrines are submerged. So where do my people ease themselves? Like the chairman has said, it means we are easing ourselves really like animals again. The risk of cholera is real. Any time we shall have an outbreak of cholera here. Here, one, we need some mosquito nets as, as, as a relief. We need tarpaulins. We need water guard tablets to assist us in treating the water. Since many people are not working, the crime rate in the camp is also a concern. Idleness breeds crime, and that crime particularly borders particularly abuse of the girl children. The second one is a serious upsurge of HIV and AIDS because the young people are idle, the adults are drunk. Food items like poshwe and beans, jerrycans and tarpaulins were distributed to the displaced people. However, Echweru pledged more government supplies to the affected people.